all right guys so this strategy is one that would give you a lot of money if you follow it properly all right this this is one that will give you a lot of money if you follow it properly it is powerful it is um simple it is authentic it is very um easy to understand you just have to follow the simple rules that i will share on this video so make sure that you watch the video to the end make sure you watch till the end and um subscribe to my channel if you are new here all right subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so that you get every other um information i'll be sharing on this channel first hand all right now if you are a subscriber to this channel you will know that i am big on confluences right i am big on confluences so um what price action does is gives you um confluences and gives you reasons a lot of reasons to um back up your your bias about the market all right so if you don't have a fair knowledge of price action you should at least be able to um combine good indicator settings good indicator setups that would okay i was expecting that spike i was expecting that spike all right so um this video is about scalping anyway not about spikes you are not trying to catch spikes you are trying to scalp all right so um if you are not if you don't have a fair knowledge of price action as i said you at least should be able to combine authentic um indicator setup to be able to come up with good trading opportunities so this strategy is going to actually give you um good trading opportunities that will give you stuffs like this you catch some candlesticks as long as this if you count you see you there are over um 50 candlesticks here already all right if you see here it's over 30 so this strategy will give you um at least to be on the safe side at least 15 to 20 candlesticks and you're out of the market all right we already um achieved uh our our what is it called we had we achieved our target already today using this strategy here yeah? i came up with um i gave the trade i gave the signal and we smashed we smashed our first tp here and then we actually smashed the second target here all right why i gave my vip members um the target is because i could analyze the market using price action right to confirm what the indicators were saying and also to use indicators to confirm what i have seen using the price action market so if you are not able to trade if you are not able to analyze the market with your naked eyes i mean as a price action trader then you should pay attention to this video as you are going to be able to make a lot of money off this um the boom and crash market if you pay attention to this video okay so let's go um we are first of all going to um show you guys how we um the indicators that we are going to be using for this strategy and um we should just go straight to it guys we just go straight to it the first indicator we will be needing is the relative strength index with the following parameters period eight applied to typical price all right you see um when you click that you see a whole lot of options you just go for typical price and then the levels should be 10 5 50 90 95 85 and 15 all right click done when you are done with that of course you need to um have the style if you are using the white background you know what to do use the colored um you you allow your color to be um black or the dark colors yeah and if you are even if, if you are using the um what is it called if you are using the black background you should go for bright color so that it will be visible on your screen so click done when you're done with that and the time frame leave it at all time frames and um style you can use two pixel that's cool and black colors if you are i mean dark colors if you are using the white background and 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 um bright colors you are using the dark background okay so just click done if you are done with that and then um we go to the other option this time around we are going to be adding the um what is it called commodity channel index all right you should click on the on the main window now listen up guys for the new guys who are just 
um, who are just trying to understand this for the first time. Now, when you add relative strength index on your main window, all right, when you have relative strength index added to your main window, it is coming straight to, it is creating an indicator window one for you, all right? Now, the second indicator you are going to be using is the commodity channel index. You are meant to add it to the main window again so that it can create indicator window two for you. So you click the plus sign next to the main window and you add your commodity strength, commodity um, channel index. All right, with the following parameters, period five, applied to typical price again, level should be minus 110. All right, leave it, leave it, um, dark colors, use dark colors. We are having, we are using the white background and um, bright colors. We are using the dark background. Okay, so just click done. And all time frames, uh, okay. And then click done when you're done with that. All right, now you should have a setup like this on your chart. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is now you go to this indicator window two to add your moving average remember the first indicator you added was the relative strength index and you had to open the main window you had to add it to the main window and the second indicator which is the commodity channel index you are to add it to the main window again which would automatically create an indicator window two for you now the last indicator which is the moving average you now have to add it to the indicator window two all right you add it to the indicator window two so we are going to be adding the moving average to the following parameters period 10 shift minus 8 method exponential apply to previous indicators data when you click that you see a whole lot of options so you just go for previous indicators data run it on all time frames and you can use any color you can use any color of your choice all right but make sure there are colors that are visible on your charts right if you are using the white background remember to use um, dark colors if you are using the black background yeah, remember to use bright colors so just click done when you're done with that and you should have um your setup complete all right you should have your setup complete so what are the conditions you need to look out for before taking a trade using this strategy all right so um i like to encourage everybody to have a fair knowledge of price action if you have, if you have not um if you don't understand what price action is about it can it can be a part of our training all right it's very affordable and um you can reach out to us using the whatsapp number that will be dropped on the description of this video all right you can also reach out to any any mentor around you to train you all right anybody that is close to you anybody you are comfortable with that you know is good at this and is also a good teacher to be able to teach you so that you understand how price action works fully all right now if you don't know how price action works it's still fine you just have to follow the setup that we had follow the instructions i'll be sharing here and it's cool all right so you can also join our free telegram group i'll be dropping the um link on the description of this video also so that you guys can just reach out whenever you want to you'll be reaching out to me directly if you click on those links all right so um what conditions do you need to see for you to come um confidently take a trade all right without um being afraid that spikes might catch up with you all right so the first thing you want to do is um ensure that price is at your is at your resistance level and how do you know that price that's your resistance level you must have seen um this must have seen this indicator at this level of the um rsi should be level 85 level 90 level 100 if it's deep into level 100 then it's cool all right some people can actually some people actually take place their entries around level 85 it's still cool but to be on the safe side if you can be patient and wait for it to get to level 100 that's still very um cool all right so when price has gotten to this level that's not enough now i remember i mentioned being big on confluences i'm i'm really particular about it because if you have just two reasons why you want to place a trade very good reasons right you are, you are good to go yeah but if i have five reasons why i want to take i want why i am i am i'm looking at um a certain market for a certain um direction yeah if i have if i have more than enough reasons more than your reasons why i'm wanting to buy or sell then my my uh, my own decision might be 
more um better than yours might be better than yours yeah so um it's okay to it's it's better to always have um a lot of um conditions pointing at the same direction pointing at the same thing telling you the same thing giving you the same signal so when price at your resistance level here if you are if you know about price action you would have seen that on a higher time frame price would have been um i think that was another spike we are not talking about spikes here we are trying to catch a couple of candlesticks and leave the market so please pay attention so um you you notice that if you are a price action trader you notice that when this indicator gets to this point price would have gone to your resistance level if you had placed your horizontal lines or whatever you use to identify your resistance level all right so what you have to do is wait and observe that this other indicator is also around this level all right ensure that it's also around this level the black line here is also around this level at the time all right ensure that it's also around this level at the time and then it is dropping downwards all right by that time these two would have been dropping downwards the black line on the indicator in the one the rsi level would have been dropping downwards and also there would have been bearish candlesticks on the main chart all right you would have seen a couple of bearish candlesticks on the main chart so um for the final condition you want to see that this green line you want to see that the green lines um actually crosses the black line around this level around this this level and it drops below that level coming pointing downwards to the level 100 here all right so if this happens at the same time all right all three conditions must meet at the same time that is what confluence is about having um three or different reasons why you want to take it why um the market is going to sell or is going to buy um no matter what the case is right so you have all of this met at the same time these three conditions if you have them um um if you have them happen at the same time then you are good to go so let's quickly um see that this happens every time okay now notice how price had come to this level all right it came to level 90 here and then the black line here was already at this point and then it crossed here before you started seeing these candlesticks going down all right you can see a lot more of that happening all right you can see now you have to be patient to see that all of these conditions are met okay so where you see that the first two conditions have met and the last one is still not giving um what you want to see you should simply just avoid the market and please ensure to also um ensure to also practice this very well on um on a demo account make sure you don't rush make sure you practice it on a demo account and be comfortable with the strategy before you apply it to your live account so this is another example you can see here price had come to level 90 and it started dropping and then price had come to this point at this time and then i started dropping too and then you can see that when it got to this level the green light the green line here had crossed the um black line just at this level all right and it had dropped down so what what you'd see at that point is the couple of candlesticks the red candlesticks the bearish candlesticks if you count with me you see that there are more than 10 candlesticks around that level all right um let's quickly count that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty that's over 20 candlesticks before a spike all right before a spike so if you keep back testing you see that this keeps repeating itself this is a pattern that keeps repeating itself all right now if you're a price action person you would um see that price had uh, if all those conditions are met would have seen price at your key resistance level would have seen price beginning to reject that level and beginning to sell at that level all right so um hit me up if you really um want more clarity on this all right hit me up my whatsapp number will be on the description of this video like i said and also you can join our free telegram group all right where we share free signals and um you can be a part of what we have there and benefit um from our um from the information we put up on there okay i'll see you guys um on the next video